بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, This is uh, Hani Al-Ghamdi from the Electrical and Electronic Department at Jubail Industrial College uh, First of all, let me welcome all of you gentlemen and I hope uh, and I hope everyone is doing well and in a good health uh, Today, inshallah, we will complete uh, our lessons okay, in the Electrical Circuit 1 with a new subject which is the superposition theorem okay we need to know what is the superposition theorem and where do we need to apply this theorem and how to do that okay for this lesson inshallah we will try to record maybe two uh, or three videos okay covering all the needed materials and uh, inshallah it will be like that uh, in three parts mainly the first part inshallah we will explain uh, briefly okay some theory about the superposition theorem after that we will have some examples okay then we will give you inshallah a practice exercises to do it in your home let's start bismillah now guys what is the superposition theorem they say it, the superposition theorem okay, is used to find solutions for the network having two or more sources. Okay, focusing in this words here. Okay, guys, he said, okay, having two or more sources. So, we need to apply this theorem, okay, when we have a circuit that's containing two or more than two sources. Okay, and these sources should not be in series or in parallel. As you know, guys, if the source is in series, we will add them okay and we'll find the resultant of this uh, sources and also if they are in parallel we will replace them by one source so the idea is that behind the superposition theorem we will try to treat each source separately or independently or individually and after that we will have something okay uh, called the algebraic uh, sum to find the actual values Okay, let's be in hurry. Let's go one by one now. Here say they said the superposition theorem state the following. First, the current to throw or voltage across an element, okay, in a linear network is equal to the algebraic sum of the currents or voltages produced independently by each source. Okay, we will explain this one inshallah more and it will be clear with the examples. Uh, then he said to consider the effects of each source independently requires that one source remain and other sources are to be removed. Okay, let me focus on something here, guys. Look what he said. Okay, so one source should remain and other sources, okay, are to be removed from the circuit. We will tell you how to do that, inshallah. Then what he said here, he said to remove a voltage source, okay. To remove a voltage a source, the difference in potential between its terminals must be zero. Zero it's mean short circuit. Okay, look to this one here. This is the voltage source. Okay, and I need to remove it from the circuit. How to remove it from the circuit? Because as we said, guys, we need to have one okay source in the circuit and I will eliminate the others. So in case of we need to eliminate a voltage source, so I will do what? I will short its terminals. So I'm like I'm doing like that here okay so i will short its terminal so it will be in this in this case this is for what for the voltage voltage source so replaced by a short circuit what about the current source the current source should be replaced by what by an open circuit as he said here to remove a current source its terminal must be open so look here guys i have two terminals so just like you are cutting this okay uh, terminals so i will have an open circuit as you can notice here Clear gentlemen, so let's move in with some example and we'll start with an easy one. After that we will have some advanced example. Okay, let's see this one here. I will use different colors, okay, to just distinguish between uh, using the sources. Okay, the example what he said here, he said by using the superposition theorem. Okay, look here guys. If he said by using superposition theorem, so you have to use this theorem in your solution if you solve it by another method it will not be accepted okay gentlemen so he said by using superposition theorem find the current i i1 which is this one here okay throw the six ohm resistor 
which is the R1 of the network shown in figure one below. Okay, look to the circuit here. I have two sources, okay, voltage source and a current source here. So, again, guys, remember these three or four steps with me. First, you have, okay, to remove all sources and keep one. Good. Number two, solve for this source and find the values that you need. Number three, repeat these two steps, okay, for each source. Number four, okay, add these sources together. Or let's say the algebraic sum for all the values. So again, if you need, just pause the video and go back and listen it to them again. Look here, guys. So I will use the blue marker, okay, or the blue color, let's say, for the voltage source. Let me remove this from the circuit here, okay. And I will use, okay, the other color, which is red maybe, or black for the current source. Let's start with the first source here, guys. So what I will do, I will keep the source. Okay, okay. I will keep the source and I will remove the current source. So how to do what? Let me, okay, make partition. So let's start with number one here. We can say number one, why not? So let's say using E only. Okay, so using E only, so a better uh, it's better to redraw the circuit. So I will keep the voltage source as we said. And I will remove, okay, the current source. And as you know, guys, I'll just we explain that one, the current source should be replaced by an open circuit. And I will keep my R1 as it is. So here is R1, 6 ohm. And this is my voltage source, which is. 30 volt. Let me check the size of the line. Okay, it's okay. Okay, now look here, guys. <coughs> what I need to know, uh, to do, I need to find I, I1. So, it's better to say like that. To find I total first. Okay. And because I have, I will have more than one circuit, so let's say like that. I total prime. Prime, it's mean, okay, related to the first source. For the second source, which is the current source, we will use I double prime. If you have third source, we will say I total, for example, okay, uh, triple uh, prime, etc. So, here I total from the circuit, as you can notice, guys, okay, it's only a series, a series circuit because it's, a, it's open circuit here. So I total it will be what? It will be E over R because I have only one one load which is 30 over 5. The answer is what? Sorry. Okay, it's not 5, it's 6. So 30 over 6, the answer is 5 ampere. So I1 prime, it's what? It's 5 ampere. Okay, let's use another color. So this time here, I will have my current source and I will remove what the voltage source. So number two, I only. I, it's mean I source, which is the current source. So I only, I will this time keep the current source from the main circuit and I will remove, okay, the voltage source. And how to remove the voltage source, gentlemen? As we said, Okay, we will short its terminals. So, I will have my resistor here. And here is my current source. And for this one, I will short its terminals. Okay, so here is 6 ohm, which is R1. And here is my I source, which is 3 ampere. Okay, this is the current, it will move from here, then it will keep moving here, guys. It will not go for this side, why? Because it's called short circuit. Here I will have a short circuit and the current will pass from the easiest, the easiest path. So it's clear here that I1 double prime, okay, because I have 
to uh, sorry yes two sources the first source is i1 prime and this is another source i1 double prime so it will equal what zero zero there because there is no current okay uh, passing through r1 okay now what i what i need to do guys i will do number three sorry okay number three here we will say something called adding and subtracting adding and subtracting it's mean using both sources okay guys so i will use both sources why now what's the question say the question said find i1 so i need to find the actual value okay of i1 that's affected by both sources because it's the main circuit but number one i just found okay i1 which is prime okay that's affected by the faulty source only in the second okay circuit which is using uh, the current source only we found i1 double prime that's affected only by the current source but to find the actual value affecting by both sources so you have something called adding and subtracting so i need to find i1 now the actual i1 without primes it's mean what it mean i1 prime plus or minus i1 double prime here because the i1 double prime is zero ampere so the answer will not be affected so just uh, figure uh, just forget about this one okay we'll explain it later in the next example so here i1 it's 5 plus 0 which is 5 ampere okay guys okay now let's move uh, to another circuit and to understand something else so we will record a new video just wait for me gentlemen <coughs> 